Hi, Peter Charles here at Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie the Comet, uh, which is a fly that's uh, tied with uh, bead chain eyes, much like a, a Crazy Charlie would be in salt water, except it's tied with the hook point down. So uh, it's an interesting looking little pattern, and it's a bit different from the standard classic um, steelhead uh, wet fly. So it's something a little different to try. So let's get tying and have a look at the materials. My hook today is a size 6 streamer in a 2 extra long. You could also use like a size 2 or a, a size 4 uh, wet fly hook, standard wet fly hook if you wanted to. My thread is 8-aught black. My tag is small gold oval tinsel. My rib is mylar in a gold silver, size 14. I'm using black chenille for the body. We're using bead chain in silver, or nickel I guess you'd call it, uh, for the eyes. This is about a 1 8 inch bead. The hackle is black cock, and the tail is black bucktail. So, let's get tying. First thing we're going to do is lay down some thread for the eyes. So we have a base of thread to put those on. Now, if you've not tied on eyes or clousers, clouser eyes or bee chain eyes, um, what you need to do is basically size up where you're going to place it. And if you put the bee chain almost parallel with the hook, put in a couple of wraps, and you can see now it's crooked. And then as I wind the other way in a figure eight motion, it'll tighten up and it'll straighten up. And then you just make sure everything is straight. Yeah, that looks good. Now you can put some wraps behind it and work your thread back. So whether you're tying on a clouser eye or bead chain eye, it's done the same way. Bring it back to the hook point. Now for our gold tinsel tag. I bring it back to the bend of the hook. Then bring that out of the way. This is not a big tag. Try not to show any black. I know going around the hook like I am does uh, create the opportunity to um, leave some black showing. So try your best to avoid it. And now for the uh, mylar, you could use flat tinsel in here as well if you had some. And we're going to be using the silver side. Now for the bucktail tail, we're using a hair stacker here. Now the clump I'm using is quite small. I mean, this is not like a wing. Uh, you want a fairly sparse tail, and you want it roughly the length of the hook. So about there looks to be about right. Pinch loop it in place. And then work it forward, just keeping it on top of the hook. And trim it off just in front of the eyes. Just behind the eyes, I should say. Bring your thread back. And just check that it's straight. Yeah, that is. Now for the chenille. Again, you see I've taken off some of it to create a tying in point. Now you're going to bump at the back. So when dealing with that bump, just put a little bit of pressure on to squish the chenille down and then you can back off the pressure as you come off the bump. This is fine chenille so keep it close together and leave a bit of room there. Don't crowd the eye because you're going to have to be putting in some hackle in here in a little bit. And now for the tinsel. Now you see my tail is going to move so give that a twist to get it back into place.
and now for the hackle. Now, in this particular pattern, the hackle is shown as quite large. It's almost like a uh, old country wet spider where you've got a, you know, a hackle that's more than twice the, the gape of the hook. So I'm using um, a black cock that is uh, quite uh, large. Now winding behind eyes can be a bit tricky, so try pushing that back and get a few wraps in there, get any strays taken care of, then advance your thread and now we can whip finish. Okay, there's the uh, Comet in black. Uh, quite an easy pattern to tie, just uh, if you've never tied on these sorts of eyes before, you just uh, have to maneuver around the eyes to a certain extent. Uh, just remember that trick of putting in the eyes sort of sideways, getting it started, then bending them the other way and getting them straight on the hook shank. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward fly to tie. And apparently it's an effective fish catcher. So, have a go at it. Cheers.